Kia ora koutou, ko dia ho, haramai. Welcome to today's virtual makerspace. I'm going to send you off for a short brain teaser and then we will be back again soon for our main activities which are going to be involving liquids. By moving just one cup, can you make the sequence look like this? Press pause or get ready for the solution. Solution is to empty the second glass into the second last one. How did you go? Okay, so for our first experiment, you're going to need an empty drink bottle, clean one, with a cap. Doesn't matter what size it is. And I have got four push pins. So I'm just going to go out of shot and I'm going to fill this drink bottle up with water right to the very top and put on the lid. Okay, so I've filled my drink bottle to the top and I've put on the lid. Now you might need an adult to help with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place, push the push pins into the bottle. Put another one, put some on the other side. You notice I've got a tray underneath because I'm not working over the, over the sink, but you might want to move over the sink. Let's push that last one in. So I've got four push pins in my bottle. What do you think is going to happen when I take the pins out? Have a think about that. Let's have a look. This one. Put another one. We're going to add another one. And another one. Did you expect that the water would come out? Well, it hasn't. What happens if I apply some pressure to our bottle? Oops. There we go. Water comes out. I'm going to stop applying pressure. It stops leaking again. What happens if I take the lid off? What do you think is going to happen? Let's have a look. Ooh, there we go. What happens if I screw it back on? Pretty fantastic, isn't it? Okay, this is, do you know why this has happened? This is because of air pressure. We're going to explain it in the next couple of slides and we'll be back again soon. experiment is going to be a little bit similar to something that we have done before. You will need a plate, some water, add some water to the plate, let's fill it up. Then we're going to add some pepper. You might have some already ground pepper but I need to grind mine. Okay, just going to dip your finger into that liquid. Nothing really much happens, does it? But what happens, and you might remember this if you've been watching some of our other makerspace, if I put a little bit of dishwashing liquid on my finger and put it into here. What do you think is going to happen? Wow, look at that. Let's see that again in slow motion. So what do you think happened there? We'll explain it on the next slide. 
It's all about surface tension. For our next experiment, we're going to be looking at density. We're going to be using, I've just got some syrup, I've got some maple flavoured syrup here, some oil and some water. So before we pour any of our liquids in, when they mix together, together, have a think about what might happen. I'm just putting in about a centimetre of the maple syrup. A centimetre of oil and about a centimetre of water. Let's have a look at that a little bit closer using a white background. You'll see we've got three distinct layers. The syrup's on the bottom, the water's in the middle and the oil is on the top. Why don't you try with some other liquids and see what happens. Now we're going to have a quick look at what happens when we put an olive, a coin and a grape into our jar. Hopefully you can see the layers quite well. What do you think is going to happen to our coin? Looks like that sunk. What might happen to our olive? You could use a grape if you've got one. The grape is sitting just above the layer of the syrup and inside the water. And what happens when we add our cork? The cork is floating on the top of the oil. The reason for this is that the various substances float or sink according to their densities. Why don't you try with some other things that you've got at home? On the bottom, underneath the syrup. The olive is sitting on top of the syrup and the cork is resting on top of the oil. Pretty cool. Well, we had a lot of fun there with those liquids. I hope you enjoyed that too. Thanks for joining us. Kakite.